Hello. So, as you know from my previous videos that uh, this type of a scooter, Geo Titan or Geo Regal, um, can be modified to your special needs. Like uh, I showed you in my previous videos that you can change the seat position and then you can adjust uh, the brakes the way you like it you can uh, turn down the volume on a, on a reverse signal so it's not going to beep uh, that loud this is another video how you can modify your scooter to your uh, to you that you can be more comfortable on this scooter or i mean to be exact this video would be suitable for people who live in the apartment style uh, places and uh, they are trying to get in into the elevator or into their uh, uh, unit by turning uh, with this scooter and when they turn into the left or to the right the radius is simply too small for them so they have to uh, they have to really do lots of uh, maneuvering uh, of uh, to, to get into to your place so the radius is standard comes from the factory it's about 125 inches wide so it would be on my parking lot from yellow line to yellow line so let's see yes as you can see from my front wheel that it's touching the yellow line on one side and the yellow line on the other side yeah so with this modification that i'm going to show you you're going to be able to, uh, to turn it a little bit sharper so you will need less space for, for this you will need to remove this front cover so you're going to have about 14 not about exactly 14 screws that holding this uh, cover so, and uh, I'm going to use my uh, my impact tool there is a two screws right here, so you would have to have a longer screwdriver to reach those. The rest of the screws are pretty visible. And there is a two screws on the front of the machine, on the front of the scooter, right here. So one on each side. So once you remove those 14 screws, now you can remove the cover. Now, uh, you can see there is a three wires for the turn signal if you have a marker mark yourself like one mark that you know which plug was where when you're going to be installing and this one too and number three doesn't need to be marked so you will know that it's blank now you can remove this plastic and put gently on the back on the side somewhere that you don't scratch and don't break okay now this is the metal stopper that's stopping your uh, wheel from turning any sharper so basically this piece goes against this metal piece as you can see so what you need to do to make a sharper radius you need to grind it off, let's say, 3 mil of this metal plate. If you need just for one side, when you turn into the left, then grind it off just this one side right here. If you want to use it on, a, if you're gonna, if you using it on the right side, then you need to grind it off on the opposite side, about 3 mil. Now, don't grind it off any more than it is, because your turning radius will be too sharp, and it could be dangerous for you. So this is not the factory uh, modification, this is my own modification, and it's possible to do so if you just grind it just slightly more than factory did. So you can fit into your door, to the left or to the right. But if you will grind it way too much, and when you will be steering uh, to the right or to the left on a higher speed, you might have a problem of tipping on the side or, or some kind of like a jackknife or something like that. So be careful, don't grind it more than it is, like 3 mil. 
for this you will you can use a grinder with a small wheel like I do have or you can use a Dremel tool with a small grinding wheel cutting wheel uh, you need to I would recommend you um, to use your uh, get yourself uh, safety goggles that you don't get uh, any debris into your eyes so let's try to grind it off so right now with a small wheel I can get it into that uh, into that metal place this uh, electronic piece is on my way so I'm going to remove it and just move it somewhere else okay so I'm gonna put on the side okay let's try to grind it off now that was pretty fast and now as you can see I grinded exactly how much I needed and I still can see my scratching mark so I'm going to can be pretty sharp be careful I'm going to finish with my uh, Dremel Now I'm going to just uh, break it with the pliers. Let's see. Okay. Now let's look. Now we have extra three mil. You see the original position? It was like more or less right here. And now you have extra three mil. But this three mil is going to make a huge difference when you're turning to the left or to the right. So let's see. Let's try. So I'm going to start with the yellow line. As you can see, we have extra. 10, 15 inches. It gave us 10, 15, 15 inches of space. So my wheel is touching yellow line on this side. But on this side, we have this distance. So only two mils make a, made a big difference. Two, three mils of cutting on each side or only on one side is gonna make that much of a difference for you. But please do not cut more than it is because it could be dangerous for you if you're going to uh, drive on a higher speed and turn it to the left or to the right. And this video, I guess, would be also useful for people who is trying to replace the ignition switch. So you can see the setup, how to replace it. It's only one screw right here and one on the bottom. And you just unplug it, plug and play, basically. Piece. Same if you're trying to replace the horn or uh, four-way or turn signal relay if you have a problem that turn signal is not working. Okay, once you cut that piece off, you don't have to do anything else. Just put everything back together and you're going to have a much better radius than original factory setting. Thank you. Bye.